All of us have questions, of course, about coronavirus right now. Yes, we want to know how to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Well, right now we're getting some answers. Dr. David Eisenman from the UCLA Fielding School of Public Health joins us live from Westwood. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Let's start off with the symptoms of this virus. What should we look out for and what should we do if we have those symptoms? Well, the fever, fever, cough, trouble breathing are the most common symptoms of COVID-19, which is the disease that the coronavirus causes. If you have just fever and a cough and it feels like a flu and you're young and you're healthy, then stay home. Contact your doctor, but stay home. If you're older, say over 60 years old, or have some medical conditions like diabetes or asthma, then you should probably contact your doctor if you have a fever, cold, and trouble breathing. Dr. Eisenman, we just... Fever, cough, and trouble breathing. Okay. Pardon me for interrupting you. We, we just heard uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci, one of the nation's top experts, saying that the lethality of this disease is 10 times the flu. So, what are people's chances that they could die from this? What's the mortality rate, for example, for the elderly versus young, healthy patients? That's a great question. We're getting data from many countries at this point and starting to show that as you get older, especially 60, 70, 80, the lethality is much greater. Thankfully, we're seeing very few deaths in young people. The data out of China, which was 80,000 cases, saw less than one or two deaths in over 1,000 people who are 20 years and younger. So it's unfortunately striking the elderly. Thankfully, somehow, young people seem spared. You know, doctor, you've already talked about people with pre-existing conditions um, being extra careful. You mentioned diabetes and, of course, any kind of uh, heart condition. So I want to ask you, regarding those people, let's, how do they know that it's just the flu? And when I say just the flu, I mean influenza A or influenza B, as opposed to the uh, coronavirus. Just how concerned should they be? People will not know if they're having the flu or if they're having a coronavirus. That is only determined based on testing that will be done in the hospital. If you're elderly and if you have those kind of underlying diseases and you're having a cough and you're having trouble breathing, you definitely need to call your doctor. You may need to go to the emergency room. And there they will decide if they do the influenza test, if they do the influenza test, plus a coronavirus test. Of course, the big problem right now is we don't have enough coronavirus tests in this country, and that is limiting our ability to know for sure who has it. Well, just very quickly then, if we don't have enough tests, do those people just get quarantined while we wait for them? Well, in the situation I just gave you, someone who's very sick, needs to be in the hospital, they will get isolated and they'll be treated supportively, which is what we would do for them whether we knew they had coronavirus or not. In a sense, knowing that you have coronavirus doesn't really change the treatment at this point. It's still the kinds of things we will do include IV hydration, antibiotics if you develop a pneumonia on top of that, and the kind of what we call supportive care that people who have regular seasonal influenza and end up in the hospital get. All right, so Dr. David Eisman, it, it, uh, it, it appears that if you have those symptoms, go to your doctor right away, and they will make the determination in terms of just how ill you are, if you need to be hospitalized, or they can treat you on the spot with uh, antibiotics and those kinds of medications. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that if you're young and healthy and you develop those symptoms, you can probably ride this out at home. You should not go into the emergency room you can call your doctor to check in, but we want to avoid having you come to the emergency room. Mm. If you're older or have one of those underlying conditions that make you sick, such as heart disease or diabetes, or if you're feeling really sick, then you should call your doctor and probably come to the emergency room. But if you're mild enough with a cough and a fever and it feels like a bad flu, you should try to ride this out at home. Okay, I want to say that you've probably allayed uh, a lot of fears from some people out there, and including this news anchor. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. David Eisenman. Yeah, thank you, doctor.